hello everyone you are watching Videk welcome to my new video in this video I'm gonna show you guys how you can install Phoenix OS on your PC so let's start first uh, download the Phoenix OS installer file I'll put the link in the description below just download from there click on installer don't download the ISO file click here and it will download I already download that open from the download manager click open and click on install and select the drive where you want to install I select E then select the storage 16 GB good for me then click on install and wait for the progress okay the install is completed click ok to exit the installer ok now let's check the boot manager uh, to ensure that the boot, dual boot is working or not so type msconfig and go to the boot and as you can see there is a single boot only the current windows 10 so this is happened because uh, the <coughs> the partition is on gpt format let me show you this is my ssd where i installed the os and yeah as you can see it's on gpt format so how you can fix this let's start okay now let's boot the phoenix os first you have to restart your pc and enter your bios um, manager i'll provide uh, some manufacturer bios entering key in the description you guys can check it out from there i'm using msi motherboard so my bios enter key is uh, delete pressing delete and yeah i enter my bios from there go to boot and uh, boot mode select uh, select this to uefi plus legacy or legacy plus uefi or if you using the new version of uh, motherboard like uh, 510 or more higher then you can find the csm mode just uh, select that to csm after that uh, go to uefi hard disk drive bbs priorities from here you can see the windows uh, boot manager in the first priority so i have to select the phoenix os in the first priority so as you can see i select it after that click on save and exit and save changes and reboot options so it will save the settings and reboot your system and now as you can see there are two options windows and phoenix os if you select windows then it will boot up the windows and if you select the phoenix os then it will boot up the phoenix os now the actual dual boot is working uh, after doing some bias work so let's fast forward to boot up the phoenix os So we are successfully install and boot the Phoenix OS on our UEFI GPT formatted uh, uh, drive. So this is it for today guys, I hope it might help you a lot. Please uh, like, share, subscribe for more videos and yeah, I'll catch you in my next one. Bye bye.